Hello everybody and welcome back to Elden Ring. We have finished Mount Gelmir, we have finished the Dragon Barrow in which we are currently residing, and it's time for a bit of a cleanup episode. Uh, there's been a few things that have been on our list for some time. We've been kind of putting it off until we were at a good transition point. And taking a quick look at the map, I think we've uncovered most everything there is to see here in terms of major real estate before we start going into Lane Dell uh, proper. But as I mentioned, there's a few things that we want to do first. Uh, first and foremost, we do want to head back underground to Nokron, the Eternal City, uh, where it appears that uh, we have not fully explored the depths therein. I believe, I believe this is the situation right here. Uh... And yeah, so, so last time we were here, we, we rested at this side of Grace. We went over and fought the Wolf of Radagon or whatever over there. But it looks like this is actually traversable here. If I'm not mistaken. So maybe we should, uh, we should give this a bit of exploration. Okay, so far so good. Knight's Sacred Ground. Yeah, this is this is certainly new. Pretty precarious as well. But that's fine. We live for danger. I think. Feels like battle music. Oh, silver tier down there? Huh. So is that like a, is that like a mimic tier or that's an that's an official uh like invasion or something? Uh oh. Okay. I don't know what that was all about. Oh I guess so I guess all of these guys just kind of transform into these things. Is that, is that the idea? Okay, well. So far, so good, I guess. Huh, alright. Now, what's the significance of there being so many of these, uh, these tiers here? Where it takes on, well... It's not a Mimic tier, because the Mimic tier that we fought before was a copy of us. So that was a copy of something or somebody else. Who that would be, I do not know. But it looks like there's, there's, a, there's quite a few of these uh, tiers scattered around here. Anything down there? Nope, that's... Not traversable, it looks like. Alright, we've got a, quite a few of these nascent butterflies saved up, which is good, I guess. We haven't really needed to use them yet. Oh, look at how many of those there are down there. All those different... Uh, Silver tears. Time for ranged battle. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought I figured that's that was going to be the prevailing advice here. All right. We'll we'll find our way down there eventually. I'm sure. Uh, anything going on down here? Yeah, I think we're ready to drop down, as far as I can tell. This is quite an extensive area here. Is that a giant scarab down there? Is that what's making that twinkling sound, or is there something else? A black wet blade, that sounds important.
Yeah, we got an extra flask for unknown purposes, because there haven't been that many enemies to speak of around here. Stone sword key? Definitely. We have got plenty of those. Mimicry, oh mimicry. Yeah, give it to me. Is that an actual person here? Oh yeah, seems to be. Hello. Oh! Um, I'm sorry, I didn't... Didn't realize that you were... You were alive. Or I knew you were alive, I but I... I thought that you would uh, be more... Conversant. Mimic tear ashes. Now that was a, that was a golden one, which means it's pretty. Um, it's pretty important, huh? Okay, well, I think we're we're relatively safe here. Maybe we just go ahead and take a look at what we got. So black wet blade. Um, you can add poison, blood, or occult to your blade. I wonder if blood would be. Good. Well, blood scales with arcane, right? And we're not really scaling an arcane, obviously. Mimic tier ashes. Used to summon the spirit of a mimic tier. Legendary ashen remains. Uh, consumes F HP rather than FP. The spirit takes the form of the summoner to fight alongside them, but its mimicry does not extend to imitating the summoner's will. They are the result of an attempt by the Eternal City to forge a lord. Oh, I see. To create their own uh, Elden Lord. Takes the form of the summoner. Oh, so that would actually... It would be another me, right? Do I... Am I interpreting that correctly? That's kind of cool. That seems very powerful. Um, well, as long as you consider yourself powerful, then I guess it's powerful, right? Alright, what's the trick here? I don't, I don't know if I can make that. I don't know if I can make that jump. But, I don't see anywhere else to drop down to, so... Here goes nothing. Yeah, okay, I guess we made it. Oh. Well, I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I did it, so... Item ahead. Oh, surely there is. Okay. We'll take a quick look over here. We're getting quite a few of these silver tear husks. I don't know if they're used in, in crafting. I, I would suppose so, right? Uh, yeah. What is this for? This is a strength and dex weapon. Mace shaped like a suspended metal droplet wielded by monks of the Eternal City. Forged from liquid metal from a silver tear, it is thoroughly tempered until hardened. The skill is flowing form. Temporarily transforms into its liquid form. Swing it like a whip to strike down, strike surroundings before slamming its tear drop, drop shaped head down. That is very cool. Uh, we for sure want to drop down there eventually, but I, I want to take a look up here um, to see if there's anything else before we do that. I think we're at a bit of a dead end right here. So, let me just verify that. Yeah, I mean, unless we were to use these buttresses, but I, I don't see there a, so, you know, a way for us to get down there. So, down we go. And I saw that there was... Oh! I, that's not what I saw. Okay. Can I destroy this? Yeah, I can. Yikes. And there's a guy here, too. Fortunately, he can get got by this boulder as well. I've never fought a boulder before. That's kind of interesting. There we go. Boulder down. You know, I'm thinking we should make a make a uh, another game. And call it and call it Boulders Gate. It could just be everybody dodging boulders all day. I think it would be a, I think it would be a smash hit. <laughs>
Easy peasy. Cool, so what legendary item was dropped? Larval tier. All right, that's good for, um... For what was it called? For respecking, right? Cool, I'm really glad we came back to this area. Would have been a, would have been a shame to miss miss out on this. All right, I think that is it here, uh, as far as I could tell. Oh, little side of grace. All right. Don't mind if I do. Oh boy, look at all those mimic tears over there. Now this says to me this is going to be some kind of big old uh, run back for a confrontation of some sort. Which I'm up for. I think that's exciting. Just observing. And there's the little summoning sign there, so that would kind of stand to reason. All right, I guess we can go ahead and just fight these guys, right? How much are we getting for them? Whoop. That works for me. Celestial Dew. Okay, I'll have to look at that in a second. I don't rightly recall. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Whoops. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh-oh. Back it up. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more respect on these guys, I think. Oh, I'm whipped. Well, assuming this is a this is some sort of boss run back, which I feel like it might be, I don't know, then maybe we don't need to fight these guys every time. Take that. Some soft cotton. That sounds so nice and relaxing right now. Number of these silver tears around. You know what? I could probably just fight this thing straight up rather than using FP. Whoa! Oh, okay, it's just a troll. I mean, you know, they're still tough, but not the toughest thing in the world. Uh, a little bit of the extra residual splash damage. Whoops. FP up. There we go. Troll up, troll down. FP uh, procured. Be wary of giant. No big deal. Nothing we haven't fought before, ultimately, you know. All right, I see more of those butterflies over in the corner. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we've got a little teleport uh, trap here. Could this be a god? Yeah, I guess this is this is the failed Elden Lord experiment. Um, if I'm understanding the lore correctly. Interesting. Anything back here for me? Come on, throw me a bone. Throw me an Elden bone. Okay, I guess that's it, huh? Uh, unless there's something here on... Oh yeah, there is a treasure chest in here. Cool. Something else legendary in here. Finger Slayer Blade and Great Ghost Glove Wart. That sounds... Uh, the blade, at least, sounds like it's a... Something Dexy. Oh no. 
The hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nokron, a blade said to have been born of a corpse. This blood-drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the eternal city and symbolizes its downfall. It cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. Ooh. Well, we're not, uh, we're not huge fans of the greater will in these parts. And the celestial do, uh, yeah, helps you make, uh, NPCs not mad at you anymore if you make a mistake. Cool. Well, I don't know where this is going to take us, but let's, let's peace out. Now, we were supposed to come down, oh. Oh, got it. Okay, so we're... We're back up here again. All right. Now, we were supposed to get this blade on behalf of Ronnie, right? Because she hired us and Blythe to come here. Because I, th I think that's how we entered her service in the first place, right? So, we should go pay her a visit. Um, I always forget where she's at. She is, yeah, over here. Ronnie's Rise. There we go. Well, hopefully Blythe is doing okay. I kind of uh, expected to run into him down here, but maybe he ran afoul of some other trouble. It's a hard knock life being a... Uh, well, I don't know. He's not a tarnished, is he? He's just something else. He's just a, a gun for hire or a, a sword for hire. But she was in some sort of, like, self-induced slumber or coma or something like that, right? So, hopefully this will kind of shake her out of it. I don't recall exactly what the purpose was for her to to do that, but let's see. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. And why is that? What is that path and why may only you tread upon it? Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. Parian Inverted Statue. My thanks. For thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. Oh, Torrent getting a shout-out. I love that. But, brief. but thou gavest me fine service. Oh, I guess we're good now. You know what? Torrent doesn't Torrent doesn't get enough credit for his uh, his part in our journey, so I appreciate that she thought to call him out. What is it? I too. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm dismissed now. So what did what did she give me? Key revealing the hidden form of Carrion's study hall. Reveals the hidden form of the Carrion study hall, which connects to the divine tower. To unveil the secret, affix it to the pedestal of the celestial globe. Carrion Study Hall. That, that that does ring a bell. Where was that? That sounds... That sounds like something... I don't remember where it was. It was somewhere here in the Raya Lucaria vicinity, I'm sure. Study Hall. Oh, here it is. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, so there's more to be gleaned. So I thought we had already cleared this out. Isn't this where we fought that annoying... Uh, what's her name? The, the lady who would uh, teleport. Oh, here we go. Cutscene.
hope I assume this is going to be somewhat beneficial to us. Like it, it seemed like Ronnie was pleased with our service, so she wouldn't. She wouldn't put us here uh, in uh, too much danger, right? Oh. Oh, everything. Wait. Hang on. I think we've we'd come here before. Hadn't, okay. Wait. I'm a little confused. Oh, I remember trying to attack these guys, but um, I, like this area was not accessible before. Oh, but now, so it must have moved some uh, some platforms around. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, that makes sense. An inverting stone. Yeah, of course. Huh. Oh, no. It's that... <laughs> Speak of the devil. Look who it is down there, y'all. Well, isn't that great? We get to fight her all over again. Uh, cool. All right. And she's got finger allies. Oh, what? Oh, she got away. She's truly the one who got away. Okay, fine. I think we're, we're relatively safe down here. Uh... Yeah. What is safe, really, but... Oh, come on. Alright, this is not going amazingly well. Yep. Alright, let's rush her, I think. Jump. Got her. That was much easier that time. Lucidity. Okay. That was dramatic. Preceptor Miriam, that was her name. Just like uh, Preceptor Celibus, right? I'm not sure why she's back. I mean, obviously, this is some sort of, like, uh, alternate reality type situation. I don't, I don't know. Well, maybe not even alternate reality, just... Uh, like a parallel dimension? I'm pretty sure I saw, uh, like, some sort of rare uh, artifact. Yeah, over... Uh oh, this is truly fascinating. Over there. Can I just shimmy along this edge right here to get there? The Mask of Confidence. What if I'm already supremely confident? Does it just is it just my face then? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, there's a couple finger monsters over here, but that's that's the last thing I can really see being uh, relevant here. There we are. So is that it? Don't see any other items or anything. Oh, may well, maybe not. Maybe that's not true. Uh. I don't know. Is Do I need to continue down? Or... Or what? Let's take a look over here and see if... Anything is... Uh, maybe we jump over that, that railing there. I don't know, but we're at 22,000 souls. So I'm just trying to keep that in mind. But maybe that's what these messages are saying. Okay. Well, it looks like we can drop down here okay. Yeah. Ooh, these chandeliers are... a little, uh... 
unstable. So where am I try trying to get to? I could probably drop down to one of these uh, cross beams from here, right? Nailed it. Let's go ahead and FP up, just in case. I'm not sure what else we're going to be seeing here. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I'm not sure. But it's going to be a pain to climb back up, so let's make absolutely sure that we've collected everything we need to on this level before we drop down to the next cross beam. I think we're okay. Glintstone Firefly. I don't see any of the rats this time. Yet. Um, Alright, is this chain going to let me pass? It would appear so. Oh, I see a guy there. Okay, I think he's passed on. Um, okay, so that would be it. So we could probably just drop down... Onto this platform here. And then I see that little button there. Let me just take a peek over the edge. Okay. Oh, down we go further. You know what? I do vaguely remember seeing this pulpit looking uh, situation and I was wondering what the deal was. Ooh. Seems vaguely ominous. Don't give up or down. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, let's 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 make a quick lap here. I don't anticipate anything being here. No. Just in case, though. Up and then sorcery. We're doing pretty well on resources, uh, just in case. Case. In case we need to fight something. Is it snowing? I don't remember it snowing outside when we came in here. Oh, it's raining. Huh. Where are we? Or when are we? No, I think where. <laughs> I mean, Lyernia Tower Bridge. Wait, what? Oh, we're on the other side. T connected to this, uh, connected to the Divine Tower over here. Okay. Which, I don't know, do we need a Divine Tower? I thought we'd already activated all of our great runes and that Renala's didn't need activation, right? But maybe this is not related to that? Hmm. Is this, is this going to be a uh, be wary of plump sort? Okay. Invasion? Dragon? Oh. What is that? I don't know. Ooh, he's a little tanky, isn't he? Whoops. Keep our distance. Oh, nice little back step. Oh, and he's got pretty good range as well. Whoa, he's got very good range. Okay. Alright. Whoa, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and, and uh, Estus up again. Uh-oh. Is that an explosion? Yeah, sure is. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yikes. 
Wow, he is rolling for a very long time. Also, does he have a tail? Do my eyes deceive me? Whoa. Oh no. Oh god. No, don't do it. Double, double. Yeah, here we go. Let's stay close. Whoa, those delayed attacks are doing their work, aren't they? Ah, good interruption. Damn. Oh no, don't do it. There we go. That was a near thing. Godskin Noble Hood. Oh, Godskin Noble. Okay. Whoa. So we already fought a Godskin Apostle, right? So this was just another, uh, another one of those types, eh? So either the Godskin Apostle decided to get on the Subway Diet, or, um, or that's another Godskin type that we've encountered. Well, we did okay, I think, for now. I don't know, are we going to fight another, another one of those? So I've noticed that the, the Godskin Apostle that we fought was in the Kaled Divine Tower. And then we just fought a Godskin um, Noble here at the, I guess technically the, the Lyernia Divine Tower. I don't know, just trying to put the pieces together. Oh, weak, oh, we're... Are we still fighting somebody else? Was the weak foe in reference to what was behind us or what's in front of us? Now what is this? Is that just particle effect weirdness right here? Okay. Yeah, it would seem so. Well, we fought the Godskin uh, Apostle twice. I would not be surprised if um, we will be seeing the Godskin Noble again in the future. Probably at the next Divine Tower, right? Would stand to reason. Two and two, right? I mean, who knows? Like, uh, we, There's been a few different enemies that have been reused before, so it's plausible that we'll see them a few times in the future. Could this be a trap? I don't know, could it? I don't know what trap... Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know what trap would be re being referred to. Um, we're still a little far off, right? About 36,000 away. I think I'm gonna hold off. I think. I don't know. 36,000. It's hard to know at what stage I should be dropping significant amount of runes. Uh, 9,000, 12,000. Yeah, it just still feels a little bit premature. Oh, we, we, ne we didn't actually rest, did we? So if we're fighting something, then we should probably... There we go. We should probably be prepared for whatever transpires next. Interesting that this is only really access. Ooh, that does seem like a trap. This is only is really accessible through Ronnie's quest, so this is like not super necessary. Huh. Okay, this is a legendary thing. Curse mark of death and stargazer heirloom. Is that it? Let's uh Okay, I always expect some kind of like confrontation or something on top of the divine towers, but but I guess nothing uh nothing of that sort has happened yet. So, okay. Cool. I guess we can we can take a look at what we picked up.
Uh, well, first of all, the Mask of Confidence. Mask with the mouth sewn shut with gold thread increases arcane. When Radagon married Renala, he ordered the Carrion Magic Perceptors to don these masks to make it clear that all of their matters were to be kept strictly private. That's certainly sending a message. Stargazer, Heirloom Race's Intelligence. The young astrologer gazed at the night sky as she walked. She had always chased the stars every step of her journey. Then she met the full moon, and in time, the astrologer became a queen. I'm assuming that's referring to Ranala, right? Curse mark discarved into the discarded flesh of Ronnie the Witch. Gross. Also known as the half wheel wound of the centipede. This curse mark was carved at the moment of death of the first demigod and should have taken the shape of a circle. However, two demigods perished at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half wheels. Rani was the first of the demigods whose flesh perished, while the Prince of Death perished in soul alone. Huh. So what do I, what do I do with this? I mean, well, the thought is that, uh, what's her name? Fia knows a whole lot about death, and she's all, she's really into Godwin, who is, was referred to there, and whose corpse is down in the, the deep root depths, right? Huh, well, yeah, that was, that was, uh, very much worth it. Um, some other areas to check out. I think this was one of the, one of the... Uh, areas that uh, was mentioned to me. I'm really trying to be good about, you know, kind of clearing up uh, business. Heading towards number one before before heading into before heading into the next area. So hopefully this will get us in the right direction. I wonder, should we go back and visit Ronnie now that we have her? Like, skin? Would that be weird? <laughs> hey, look what I found. I found, I, you know, you remember this? Remember when you used to wear this? That would be kind of weird, right? Okay. That was pretty easy. But again, recall this is Lyernia. So, stuff is going to be a little bit easier here by virtue of us having exceeded level 100, which I'm sure this is not scaled to. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff. Yeah, we should probably clear this out. Yeah, look how little damage this guy does to us. I almost feel bad. Almost. But you know what? Sometimes it's just nice to be the, the big dog on the block, you know? Like, I'm the boss that the bosses are scared of. Okay, okay. Let's see here. The four Belfries. Uh, are we going to have to fight some, like, Belfry gargoyles or something? I don't know. Is that a thing? Ooh, Stone Sword Key. I have some of those. Imbued Sword Key. Oh, I think I have one of those, don't I? Pretty sure I do. I don't know how many of those I need. The Crumbling Lands. What does that mean? Whoa, crumbling Ferum Azula. What is this place and why why is it crumbling? This is very uh Dark Souls 3. Whoa, look at all that down there. Like a, uh, is this like a previous civilization? What is Far Faramazula? I don't, I'm not sure if I recall that, uh, being mentioned before. 
Whoop. Almost bit it there. Hopefully this leads to a side of grace. So we can uh, lock in our progress. Hopefully these hands don't come to life. Or, or these, these skeletons. These skeletal remains. Oh, there's something down there. Hmm. That's not great. Well, I don't see anywhere else for us to go other than down here. Oh boy. Ooh, they are not going to go down easily. Oh, they've got a they've got a thing that they throw. All right, let's do that. Let's hide behind the pillar real quick. Are these just the, the common enemies here? I think they probably are. That does not bode well. Oh, nice. All right, see ya. Hopefully you didn't drop anything good. <laughs> Whoa. Well, we have a good amount of souls now. Wow. This where we should be going? Seek down. Pearl Drake Talisman. That's something new. Boosts non-physical damage negation. Oh, that's nice. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric area era before the Erd Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protections. Hmm. Oh, well, what am I supposed to do now? That's problematic. Do I have to... Oh, yeah, there's... That's... Now, that's kind of a rarity, isn't it? Like, l a literal dead end here in, like, a... In, like, Elden Ring pathing. Usually, there's a way to escape whatever the terrain is, but I don't think that there is here. Well. I mean, that's easy enough, I guess. It's kind of annoying, so we'll have to... Um, We'll have to go back here to the four belfries. And we'll have to fast travel there. And then we'll have to go through the portal again. And then we'll have to go back into Farah Missoula. Uh, yeah, strange. We must have, like, missed a side of grace or something. I don't know. I guess it's it's like a really really good talisman, right? I mean, boosts all because there's a there's quite a few enemies who are all about uh, non-physical damage as well, right? So having that kind of negation does seem quite powerful. I guess it makes sense that you would the the reward or the uh, the payment for having uh, gotten that is to have to retrace your steps. I'm just curious about what else there is up here. Do we need more imbued keys or whatever? Because if so, I don't know if we have any, uh, to be honest. Oh, we do. I guess we had a couple. I, I really don't know what the differences are, but... Night sky unceasing. Sure. That sounds appropriately ominous and cool. So there's four of these, so implying that there's four imbued keys for us to find somewhere. Oh, we're back in Nokron. We were just here. <laughs> oh, and look, there's a guy down there. Oh, I remember... I think I vaguely remember seeing that guy standing over there before. I'm wondering what their deal was. Guy or gal. We'll have to see. Uh, well, isn't this interesting? So these must be like little mini challenges, because there's no sites of grace here, which means that if we die, we're going to be going back to the foot of the four belfries, 
and then have to ride up all over again, and then have to, uh, and then have to teleport here again. Okay, we made it. Hmm. I kind of feel bad. I hope we don't have to fight them. I kind of feel bad. It feels like they came up here for some quiet contemplation and they just want to be left alone, but... Look, that's something that I, as a uh, Tarnished, am, am pretty good at, is just going around annoying people who just want to be left alone. I think that's part of my, my job description, to be honest. Really, for most of the the Souls games, when you think about it, that's pretty much all that we do, is just go around bothering people who would rather be left alone. Occasionally, we find people who tolerate us, you know, or, or pretend to be our friend. <laughs> that's kind of a rarity. Mottled necklace. That's more, what, focus, etc., etc. Yeah, robustness, immunity, and focus. Uh, accoutrement, precious to the ancestral followers, said to be a budding horn... And I, be I believe we've read this before. Yeah. Cool. So let's go attempt to talk to this person, but I assume they're going to perceive us as a threat immediately. Oh, is this going to be a crucible night? Yeah, we're, we can target them, so... Looks like it. I am so sorry. Oh, yeah. So sorry, Mr. Crucible Knight. You don't deserve any of this. I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. Alright, well, that was... Interesting and sad. Um, so now what? Is that it? Is there some sort of quest where we're... Supposed to be going around and, uh... Killing Crucible Knights? Because if so, mission accomplished. I don't see anything else going on here, interestingly enough. Like, there was no boss um, health bar or, or anything. So, is that just it? Is there a way to jump off here? No. Okay. Well... I mean, I guess that's it. So these are just little little mini bonus areas, I guess, right? So back over to uh, the four belfries. I don't think we have any more keys or whatever. Uh, imbued keys. But I'm also too lazy to check my inventory to confirm that fact. So let's just at the very least go up here and get the names of the different uh, belfry places. And even if we don't have, well, here's what I'm wondering. Like, in both the situation of Nakron and in, of Crumbling Fire on Azula, we went there, we fought an enemy, we picked up a talisman, but there was no side of grace, and so we had to teleport back. So it's actually plausible that even if I go back to Fire Azula, I'm not going to be able to get farther than I already had got, you know. Um, maybe I've maybe I've effectively already seen all that there is to be seen. Now that I've picked up the uh, picked up the talisman, so I'm assuming I don't have enough. Yeah, I don't. Okay, but what's this called? Precipice of anticipation. Oh man. <laughs> That's that's pretty good description of what I'm feeling right now. I'm I'm very much at the precipice of anticipation, not knowing uh, what's next. Okay. Well, hopefully we find more of those keys. Oh, good. And there's a there's a side of grace here. Let's definitely take advantage of that while we're here, and we'll rest real quick so we can get that carrion knight off our back. Cool. So now if we get more imbued stone keys, we'll we'll know where to go. Cool. Um, yeah, that was that. That's a fun little detour. Let's check out what this is. Oh, I'm actually allowed to open this. Okay. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. Well, there's another imbued stone sword key. I expect... <laughs> That's not what I expected to happen. Cool. So this will be the last one. So I guess we won't have to sit at the precipice of anticipation, um, metaphorically speaking, for too long, huh? Well, that's good. I, I hate being on the edge of my seat for stuff. So now that we've, now that we've unlocked all three, uh, maybe it's something really, really good here because we've completed this quest. Chapel of Anticipation. Where are we exactly? Oh, we're all the way out here on this island. This is so cool. Yeah, well... Well, that... That is mean. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is so unkind. Why? Why would you do that? Well, fortunately, it's not a big deal. Because we'll just grab our runes right on the edge, I think. That is one of the most mean-spirited platforming uh, traps that I've seen in this game so far. Truly nasty. Hopefully my runes are on solid ground and they're not, like, out there on the edge where I can't get to them. No, they're right here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So truly an item that you cannot get. Love that. Oh, and is there a boss battle here? Hmm. They're like, we, we suckered you in, so here's a free nascent butterfly for you. I appreciate that. Huh. This is kind of vaguely, like, Firelink Shrine-like, are the vibes that I'm getting. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do uh, real quick? I'm going to go back here to the Belfries and use up our, um, let's use up our souls. I meant to, to, our runes, I meant to do that in the first place. Because I think we have enough to justify that. 21,000, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's easy. That's no sweat. Uh, five of these. Yep, we'll just use all of those. So we need another 9,000. Which we can use all three of those. I think that's the number we want, right? Oh no, we're, we're a tiny bit short. I must have miscalculated. Uh, another 5,600 will get us there, though. So, one, two, three, four, I think. Yeah. I think that'll do it. There we go. Deck's up. Sweet. All right, maybe we go. I know we're we're pretty late in the episode. I just want to go down there and get a quick peek at that boss. Just just a taste, just a smidgen. Seek revenge. Huh. Revenge for what? At least, you know, I mean, it's kind of annoying that we're going to have to teleport every time, but at least the run back itself is short. So here we go. Oh, look who it is. Oh. Well, well, well. How the turp tape, uh... <laughs> Tables have turned. Ornamental straight sword and golden beast crest shield. Oh, this is this is truly where we started out. Yeah, this is truly this is this is our actual starting. I had no idea that that's actually this is actually where we started out. Huh. That's kind of cool. 
I would very much like to know what happens if you beat this guy at skill level one, you know, like having just created a new character. I'm, I have no doubt in my mind that somebody has done it. I think it would be very interesting to know what exactly happens. So what do we do now that we've beaten them? I for, I've completely forgot about this area. Was there anything up here that... Um, no, it's just our, our standard starting area. Okay, nothing else for us to pick up. Oh. Though the path be unbroken, uncertain claim replaces Elden Lord. Yeah, okay. I think we saw that the first time. Well, I think we'll go ahead and call it here, uh, y'all. We've truly come full circle. Very Elden Ring-like. <laughs> To, to do things circularly. Um, thanks so much for watching, y'all. Uh, I think there's a couple more things that we want to still clean up. Be sure to comment if there's anything uh, egregious that, ne that needs to be addressed before moving on to Lane Dell. Uh, but otherwise, we'll, we'll clean up and then move on to our next chapter. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.